we already have an X bot that is writing tweets on autopilot. And look at these analytics, 83 impressions, a test tweet got 55 impressions. This auto-generated tweet got 65 impressions. This one, 67. All free traffic to my X profile page, to my message, and possibly my business or product. But we can do better. This is Elon Musk's profile. He's writing and posting tweets multiple times per day. Here's one that he wrote five hours ago. It caught 20 million impressions. But what if we could be one of the first comments to a popular X profiles tweet? Here, this account Q wrote, start the car. It got 34,000 impressions, 184 likes, 23 retweets, 17 comments. So 34,000 people saw this comment to Elon Musk's tweet. And I don't know about you, I'm looking at this profile Q, I'm clicking into it has 170,000 followers. I'm looking into what this person is doing on their own account. So you know how important it can be to get your name out there. And what if I told you that your AI agent, recently called the Autoblogger, now has an X-Bot that automatically responds to the profile's tweets of your choosing. And we can do it almost immediately. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's get started. We haven't changed domains yet, so by the time you're watching this video, you still need to go to this URL. It's autoblogger.app. There will be a link in the description. Sign up using your name, an email address, password, re-enter the password, and then click sign up. Now we are going to connect the X platform. I'm going to click on this. It needs a username and a client ID from our developer portal. So let's click on this hyperlink. If you haven't created an app before, in projects and apps, you're going to create a new project. I call this Xbot. And within the project, you're gonna create an app. So this app is called West GPT. You can use whatever name you like, but there are a few things we need to do. First, scroll down into user authentication setup, click edit. You need to select read and write and direct message. The type of app needs to be native app. And in the app info, the callback URI needs to be autoblogger.app slash settings. And then the website URL, autoblogger.app slash settings as well. You don't have to type it all out. I have it in this info text. I just copy this, right click, and then paste it in. So then click save. Then that will open up your keys and tokens. Click on this. You want to grab your client ID, that is all we need. So I'm copying this, pasting it into this info box, and then naming my connection within the autoblogger. I'll call this West GPT. The reason why you're hooking this all up is because X offers you up to 1500 posts per month on the free API plan. And that's enough for your X bot to go pretty crazy. I think that's fine. Elon's pricing tiers are just ridiculous. Look at basic. It's $100 per month. You're able to retrieve up to 10,000 posts per month. I think you're only allowed to make 10,000 posts as well. And then they have a pro tier. It's 5,000 US dollars per month. There's nothing in between. This almost gives you an unlimited amount of posts. But for 95% of use cases, we can get by on the free plan. So we're hooking that up for yourself. Okay, I'm gonna click connect. Here it takes me to an OAuth screen. I'm gonna click authorize app. If everything is good, it's gonna take you back to the connection screen. I'm gonna scroll down. Here's my newest X connection called West GPT. I can change its name at any point or I can remove it if I no longer want it on this dashboard. Next, I'm gonna enter some API keys. We have multiple choices depending on your favorite one to use. If you like to use GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 Turbo for the text, you can input your OpenAI secret key. If you want to use Gemini 1.0 Pro or Gemini 1.5 Pro, you can enter your API key here. Gemini 1.0 Pro is completely free to use. We also offer Claude 3 Opus. 
And then for images, if you ever want to use the auto blogging feature, we offer Stable Diffusion 3. Let me quickly set up the OpenAI secret key if you choose to use this one. I'm going to click this hyperlink. I'm going to click Create New Secret Key. Name the key. Let's go X Bot Comment. Click Create Secret Key. Copy this key. Go back into Settings. Paste it in. And then you can click Test to test the OpenAI connection. If everything is good, you're going to get a check mark in this blue button here. That means the OpenAI connection was integrated successfully. Next, click on subscription and then click the subscribe button. Your AI agent is only $9 per month and that covers unlimited workflows, unlimited connections, unlimited usage. I'm trying to make AI agents for your business as cheap as possible. So give this app a try. All right, back on the home page, you get to choose which task you want to start. We have a few AI agent tasks available right now. Auto blogging, create hundreds of SEO optimized articles at once in just a few simple steps. We got a Reddit bot that automatically responds to Reddit posts in the subreddit of your choice. SEO heist, we're taking your competitor's traffic by rewriting their most recent articles. We have the X bot. I showed you how that worked a bit earlier. All of those tweets on my account were from the XBot. It automatically adds hashtags, writes tweets for you based on the topics and the tones that you choose. And then now we have tweet comment. Now, a quick word of warning. This AI agent task is not for everybody. There are a lot of steps that we need to perform in order for this to work correctly. And this is the fault of the Twitter API. I showed you that pricing earlier. The cheapest we can retrieve tweets from the platform is $100 per month. It only retrieves 10,000 tweets and we can't get them immediately. In order to get the tweets immediately, we'd need the account activity API. And that's only on the enterprise plan. And you're not gonna believe me when I say this, it's $45,000 per month. No thank you. Just ridiculous pricing, so we have a workaround. I'm gonna click on tweet comment. It's gonna bring you to the tweet comment page. By default, it auto selects your latest X connection. If you have multiple ones, you can choose the one you wish. Then we need to select our text model. I'm gonna choose GPT-4 Turbo because we set up OpenAI. For the language, I'm just gonna write English. Then I'm gonna choose whether I want to delay my comment. If you don't wanna tweet precisely at the moment they tweet. You can delay this a bit. We are using webhooks to get the latest tweets, so there is a natural delay. But if you wanna delay it even more, add in a number in minutes. Let's say I wanna wait an extra five minutes, or I could choose a random delay. And then we have our agent prompt. What is the background of our AI agent? How do we want it to respond? What user profile are we giving it? so that our tweet comments sound more like a human and more importantly, sound more like us. By default, I write respond in a quirky and sarcastic way. However, if the topic is serious, be professional and empathetic. We don't wanna be making jokes on very serious topics. I'll leave that as it is and then I'm gonna click start workflow and it pops up two pieces of code. To get the webhooks, to get the latest tweets of the profiles of our choosing, we need to use IFTTT. It stands for if this, then that. It's almost like a Zapier. We are going to create a new applet. The account needs to be on the Pro Plus plan. And I think this is what pays for those webhooks, that Twitter activity API but it's actually pretty cheap. It's only $15 per month and it gives you unlimited applets. And each of those applets, like I'm about to show you, is one user profile that you wanna follow. So you could follow an unlimited amount of user profiles, connect each of those to a new workflow in the autoblogger or within your AIagent.com, and then auto respond to those tweets throughout all hours of the day. I'm gonna click create for the if this trigger, I'll search for Twitter, that is X, and then scroll down. We're going for a new tweet by a specific user. Connect your Twitter account, and then the username to watch. 
Let's just use my username for an example. But you can write Elon Musk here, Joe Biden, Donald Trump, Noah Kagan, or even the smaller profiles, completely up to you. I'm gonna click Create Trigger, then click Then That. We are searching for a webhook. Click this service, make a web request. For the URL, I'm gonna go back to the tweet comment page, click this to copy. It says the URL has been copied, paste it in. The method is a post request. The content type is application slash JSON. And then for the body, I'm gonna go back into here, click this to copy. We have dynamically added this JSON body with your new workflow ID. We are grabbing this in the background. We're gonna click this. It says the code has been copied. Super easy, super simple. Paste it into the body and then click create action. Then continue, finish and we are all connected and set up. Whenever this user profile makes a tweet, we are going to automatically respond with our AI agent. I can click continue now. It's gonna bring us to the workflows page. We have our workflow name that we can change, the connection, the type, the interval, which is a delay in this AI task. We can cancel the workflow at any time, and we can also edit it to change our agent prompt, the time delay, the text model, or the language. All right, let's test it out. Here I am on my X profile. Hey, Wes Frank, I'm gonna click post. I'm gonna write, when are we gonna send a rocket to the moon? I'm gonna click post. And there we go, we have one comment. The comment bot said, pretty soon, I hope. Just need to double check if the cheese up there is still fresh. I love it, that's funny, that's clever. If that was on a popular account, I think that'd get some likes and might get some profile visits. If you want to try the tweet comment bot for yourself, a link is gonna be in the description below. If you want to learn how to build AI agents just like the autoblogger, just like the tweet commenter, I recorded and designed an online course. It's called How to Build a Custom AI App. I'm also gonna drop a link to this in the description below. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.